easy math okay today is wednesday trigonometry an interesting chapter okay now in previous video we learned about some identities and signs of trigonometric functions today let's discuss about some problems and some new topics first let's start this by a problem on topic we learned in previous video okay the problem is if sin theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 then find the value of cos power 12 theta plus 3 cos power 10 theta plus 3 cos power 8 theta plus cos power 6 theta minus 1 okay it seems to be very difficult to find the value right okay now let's take a quick review on how can we solve this easily okay here we got sin square theta and we got one in the other side what can we do if we send this it becomes cos square theta and then we should find the value of this if we observe carefully here 12 10 8 and 6 okay if we take off the highest power common it becomes cos power 6 theta plus 3 cos power 4 theta plus 3 cos square theta plus 1 okay now here it is in the form of a cube 3a square b 3ab square okay let's see the problem okay the solution is the same way as we imagined before sin theta will be cos square theta and then here if we take cos power 6 theta common it becomes cos power 6 theta plus 3 cos power 4 theta plus 3 cos square theta plus 1 and minus 1 outside the brackets now here if you observe carefully if we take cos square theta then it will be cube of that it will be square of that it will be power 1 and it will be the normal constant term okay now here there is coefficient 3 what is it relating to okay if we observe carefully it is relating to the a plus b whole cube observe carefully a cube okay it is in the form of a cube plus 3 a square b okay it is in the form of 3 a square b is 1 so okay it is in the form of that it is in the form of 3 a b square okay b is 1 a is cos square theta it is in the same form it is in the form of b cube so we can write that as cos power 60 into cos square theta plus 1 whole cube okay now this one we know normally we can how can we do this substitute this value cos square theta will be sine theta then it becomes sine cube theta into sine theta plus 1 whole cube minus 1 now here there are both cubes so we can take them as common then it will be sine square theta plus sine theta whole cube if we multiply them okay sine square theta plus sine theta we have seen this somewhere see at the starting sine theta plus sine square theta is equal to 1 so it will be 1 1 cube minus 1 so the value of that is 0 this type of models will be seen in trigonometry okay now let's see a new topic okay now if we take quadrant wise how will sine theta cos theta tan theta and all trigonometric ratios vary okay in first quadrant sine theta increases from 0 to 1 because negative values are not possible in first quadrant to sine as we seen in our previous video and then cos theta decreases from 1 to 0 and then tan theta increases from 0 to infinity we observe this in the tan theta curve and cot theta it decreases from infinity to 0 we also observed this in functions chapter and secant theta increases from 1 to infinity and last cosecant theta decreases from infinity to 1 next second quadrant in second quadrant we observe that except sine and cosecant remaining all will be negative 
cosine theta decreases from 1 to 0. Cos theta decreases from 0 to minus 1. Because sine and cos are only possible between minus 1 and 1. There will be 0 to minus 1 or minus 1 to 0 or 1 to 0 or 0 to 1. And tan theta increases from infinity to 0. Cot theta decreases from 0 to minus infinity. And then secant theta increases from minus infinity to 1. And then cosecant theta increases from 1 to infinity. And in our third quadrant, in third quadrant, tan and cot are positive, remaining all are negative. Okay, now if we see this, sin theta increases from 0 to minus 1, cos theta decreases from minus 1 to 0, tan theta increases from 0 to infinity, cot theta decreases from infinity to 0, secant theta decreases from minus 1 to minus infinity, cosecant theta decreases from minus infinity to minus 1. And fourth quadrant, sin theta increases from minus 1 to 0, cos theta increases from 0 to 1, tan theta increases from minus infinity to 0, cot theta decreases from 0 to minus infinity, secant theta decreases from infinity to 1, cosecant theta decreases from minus 1 to infinity. Okay, these are the quadrant wise changes in the functions, trigonometric functions or trigonometric ratios. Now let's see some fixed angles for trigonometric ratios or trigonometric ratios of standard angles. Okay, now let's take now sine theta. Sine theta have values of 0 at 0 degrees, 1 by 2 at 30 degrees, 1 by root 2 at 45 degrees, root 3 by 2 at 60 degrees, and 1 at 90 degrees. Okay, you may ask, won't you prove this? How can we prove this? How will we get these fixed values to sines and cos and trigonometric ratios? Okay, you can prove this by taking concept of triangles. Okay, 30 degrees. We can use equilateral triangle. If we take median to the equilateral triangle, median or altitude, then we can solve this 30 degrees and then 45 degrees how can we do this 45 degrees if we take an isosceles right angle triangle two sides will be a a and our third side will be root 2 root 2 a according to pythagoras theorem so we will get this formula 60 degrees this one also if we find 30 degrees 30 degrees and 60 degrees you can find them easily because there will be opposite to in a right angle triangle and 90 degrees 90 degrees you can take a straight line means if you take for 0 degrees if we take the line and the line along the same line will have 0 degrees to it and 90 degrees is also same because if we take a line on another line and then what will be the third side? It will be 0 or it will be 90 degrees to this side. And these two are just imaginations but these values are right. Because that imagination is also right. Okay, now cos theta. How to find the values of cos theta? Okay, some metal you can reverse sine theta easily. Then you will get the values of cos theta. Okay, how is that possible? Because sin theta means the opposite side by hypotenuse cos theta means adjacent side by hypotenuse if we take if we revert the angles means 30 to 60 and 45 to 45 and 0 to 90 degrees there will be opposite angles in a right angle triangle so we will get so it is possible to get the reverse values of tan th sin theta reverse means not reciprocal means 90 degrees goes to 0, 60 goes to 30, 45 will be 45, 30 goes to 60 and 0 goes to 90. And then tan theta, we can get that easily by dividing sin and cos, sin theta and cos theta. Okay, first one, 0 by 1, it will be 0. Next, 1 by 2 by root 3 by 2. 2, 2 cancels out, you will get 1 by root 3. 1 by root 2 by 1 by root 2, you will get 1. Root 3 by 2 by 1 by 2, 2, 2 cancels out, you will get root 3. 1 by 0, infinity. 
and then cosecant theta. It is just inverse of sine theta, means 1 by sine theta. So, 1 by 0, infinity, 1 by 1 by 2, 2, 1 by 1 by root 2, root 2, 1 by root 3 by 2, 2 by root 1 by 1, 1. Okay, next, secant theta. Secant theta will be simply inverse of cos, reciprocal of cos. So, 1 by 1, 1, root 3 by 2 by 1 by root 3 by 2, 2 by root 3, 1 by 1 by root 2, root 2, 1 by 1 by 2, 2, and 1 by 0, infinity. Next, cot theta. Cot theta will be just inverse of tan theta. Or we can find by cos theta by sin theta. Or secant theta by cosecant theta. We can do this in any way. Okay, let's see as inverse reciprocal of tan theta. So it will be 0, 1 by 0, infinity. And 1 by 1 by root 3, root 3. And 1 by 1, 1. And 1 by root 3, 1 by root 3, 1 by infinity, 0. Okay, these are some fixed trigonometric ratios of standard angles. Now, Let's see some, some of the formulae or some cases. Okay. In these cases, we will discuss about these. First, sine minus theta. What is the value of sine minus theta? It is minus sine theta. And cos minus theta. It is different to sine. It is just cos theta. Why is this? Because minus theta means it will be in the negative direction or clockwise direction or we can tell like it will be in the fourth quadrant if x theta is in between 0 and pi by 2 so we will get positive values tan minus theta you will get minus tan theta cot minus theta you will get minus cot theta cosecant minus theta you will get minus cosecant theta secant minus theta you will get plus secant theta because it is reciprocal of cos and then there are some 90 minus theta values. Sin minus sin 90 minus theta is equal to cos theta. Okay, how is this possible? You may ask, right? Okay, if we take a triangle, we discussed this before. Sin means adjacent opposite side by hypotenuse. Cos means adjacent side by hypotenuse. If we take the another angles other than 90 degrees, then we will get sin will become adjacent theta adjacent by hypotenuse the other angle will be pi minus theta so you'll get cos theta similarly cos pi by 2 minus theta is equal to sin theta if we want an english system or degree system it will be 90 degrees and tan pi by 2 minus theta is cot theta cot pi by 2 minus theta will be tan theta secant pi by 2 minus theta will be cosecant theta Cosecant pi by 2 minus theta will be secant theta. Here pi by 2 can also be referred as a right angle. And next, sin pi by 2 plus theta. Here plus. Sin pi by 2 plus theta will be cos theta. Okay, how is this? Because sin pi by 2 plus theta means it lies in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin is positive. And cos pi by 2 plus theta in second quadrant, cos is negative, so minus sin theta. Another thing, we should not see sin theta here because it is the cos function. The value of that is minus sin theta. Tan pi by 2 plus theta is minus cot theta. Cot pi by 2 plus theta is minus tan theta. Secant pi by 2 plus theta is minus cosecant theta. Cosecant pi by 2 plus theta is minus secant theta. Sorry, there may be a printing mistake, but actually it is plus secant theta because sine and cosecant are positive in second quadrant. Next, sine pi minus theta or 180 degrees minus theta or in French system, 100 grades minus theta is equal to sine theta. As we discussed it before, because sine theta is positive in 
second quadrant and cos pi by cos pi minus theta minus sin theta tan pi minus theta minus tan theta cot pi minus theta minus cot theta secant pi minus theta minus secant theta and then let's see pi plus theta sin pi plus theta minus sin theta why it is minus because it will be in the third quadrant because it is greater than 180 degrees cos pi plus theta will be minus cos theta tan pi plus theta will be tan theta cot pi plus theta will be cot theta secant pi plus theta will be minus secant theta and cosecant pi plus theta will be minus cosecant theta okay now let's say 3 pi by 2 or 270 degrees or 300 grades sine 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be minus sine theta cos 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be minus sine theta because it is in the third quadrant tan 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be cot theta it is not minus just cot theta cot 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be tan theta secant 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be minus cosecant theta and cosecant 3 pi by 2 minus theta will be minus secant theta okay now let's see some other sine 3 pi by 2 plus theta will be minus cos theta because it lies in the fourth quadrant in fourth quadrant cos and secant are positive cos 3 pi by 2 plus theta will be sine theta tan 3 pi by 2 plus theta minus cot theta cot 3 pi by 2 plus theta minus tan theta secant 3 pi by 2 plus theta plus cosecant theta because it is inverse of cos and cosecant 3 pi by 2 plus theta will be minus secant theta let's see 2 pi minus theta or 360 degrees minus theta or 400 grades minus theta sine 2 pi minus theta will be minus sine theta cos 2 pi minus theta will be cos theta tan 2 pi minus theta will be minus tan theta cot 2 pi minus theta will be minus cot theta secant 2 pi minus theta will be secant theta because it, it is just reciprocal of cos and cos and secant are positive in fourth quadrant cosecant 2 pi minus theta will be minus cosecant theta and let's say 2 pi plus theta okay what is specialty of 2 pi plus theta it just lies in the first quadrant we can just take that as theta because it completes a whole rotation. Sin 2 pi plus theta is sin theta, cos 2 pi plus theta, cos theta, tan theta, cot theta, secant theta and cosecant theta. There will be no change in these. Okay now, to find, to find trigonometric ratios of allied angles means angles with more than 90 degrees we can use these steps they are see whether the given angle alpha or theta or anything is positive or negative if it is negative make it positive by using the following means we should get just positive values okay we read this before sine minus theta minus sine theta cos minus theta cos theta tan minus theta minus tan theta and so on and step two Express the positive angle alpha obtained in step 1 in the form of alpha is equal to 90 degrees into n plus or minus theta. Why 90 degrees into n? Because it will be greater than 0 and 90 degrees. It should be greater than 90 degrees. Then only we will use this formula. So let they take 90 degrees as the factor or dividend. So they take 90 degrees where theta is an acute angle to be acute angle we should take 90 degrees because if it is 90 plus something if you take 180 then we will get an reflex angle or angles like that and determine the quadrant in which the terminal side of alpha lies okay we know terminal side right we should determine in which quadrant it is first, second, third or fourth. Determine the sign of given trigonometrical function in the quadrant obtained in step 3. Okay, we can use these. Or we learned the signs of the signs of trigonometric ratios in different quadrants.
If n in step 2 is an odd integer, then sin alpha is equal to plus or minus cos theta. Cos alpha is equal to plus or minus sin theta. Tan alpha is equal to plus or minus cos theta. Secant alpha is equal to plus or minus cosecant theta. And cosecant theta, cosecant theta is equal to plus or minus secant theta. The sign on RHS will be the sign obtained in step 4. If n in step 2 is an even integer, then sin alpha is equal to plus or minus sin theta. Cos will be cos, tan, tan, secant will be secant, cosecant will be cosecant. Cot will also be cot. Okay, why is this? Because for 180 plus or minus theta, then what it will become? Sine or cos, let's take sine in this case. Sine 90 plus, 90 plus or minus theta. Then it will be sine 90 plus, means it will be cos. It will become cos and then again it will change to sine. So, if n is even, it is sine, it will become sine, the trigonometric identity or ratio will remain same and if n is odd, it will change. Okay, now let's see and let's see two example problems on these identities and the identities we learned before. Okay, if 1 plus sine alpha into 1 plus sine beta into 1 plus sine theta is equal to 1 minus sine alpha into 1 minus sine beta into 1 minus sine theta. Then prove that each side is equal to plus or minus cos alpha into cos beta into cos theta. Okay, how can we prove this? It is somewhat simple, right? Because if you absorb 1 minus sine alpha into 1 plus sine alpha, if you multiply, we will get cos, cos square alpha. So, we will get... Here we will get cos square alpha by 1 plus sin alpha. Here cos square alpha by 1 plus sin beta. Cos square alpha by 1 plus sin theta. If you send that side and if we multiply, here we will get cos square alpha, cos square beta, cos square theta. Here we will get squares for all. If this square goes to the other side, it becomes square root. And here all squares and square roots cancels out, so we will get plus or minus. Let's see the answer. 1 plus sin alpha into 1 plus sine beta into 1 plus sine theta is equal to cos square alpha by 1 plus sine alpha. We discussed this before. And here, if we send 1 plus sine alpha, 1 plus sine beta, 1 plus sine theta to the other side, we'll get squares. And then here also we'll get square. And then if we send square to that side, square and root cancels out. So we'll get plus or minus cos alpha cos beta cos theta. So LH is equal to plus or minus cos alpha cos beta cos theta. Now what we should prove? We should just prove our edges is also same. We can prove that in two ways. Similarly, we can take these two. We can take these four steps and we can prove or in the problem LHS is equal to RHS, right? So, it will be directly equal to this. In this case, we will take the first one. Similarly, as first case, here 1 plus sin theta is equal to cos square alpha by 1 minus sin alpha we will get. And then if we send 1 minus sin alpha to other side, the remaining procedure is same and we will get RHS is equal to plus or minus cos alpha cos beta cos theta. So, we will get plus or minus cos alpha cos beta cos theta on both sides because LHS and RHS have got the same result. Okay, now our next problem is if sin theta plus cosecant theta is equal to 2, then prove that sin square theta plus cosecant square theta is equal to 2 is also equal to 2. Okay, now how can we prove this? We can prove this easily, right? Okay, now sin theta plus cosecant theta 2. Okay, here sin and cosecant are multiplicative inverses. So, just convert cosecant to 1 by sin. And then if you multiply that sin square theta plus 1 by sin theta is equal to 2. If you send sin theta to the other side, sin square theta plus 1 is equal to 2 sin theta. If you send that to this side, you will get sin square theta minus 2 sin theta plus 1. It is in the form of a quadratic equation. If we solve that, we will get sin theta 1 and cosecant theta will be 1 because sin is 1. Okay, let's see the answer. Sin theta plus cosecant theta 2. So, we will get sin square theta minus 2 sin theta plus 1 is equal to 2 as we discussed it before. And it, it is in the form of sin square theta minus 2 sin theta plus 1. 
a square minus 2ab plus b means a minus b whole square sin theta minus 1 whole square if we send square to the other side sin theta minus 1 is equal to 0 sin theta is equal to 1 ok if sin theta is equal to 1 cosecant theta is also 1 and it should be 1 2 because sin theta plus cosecant theta is 2 if sin is 1 cosecant is also 2 or cosecant is multiplicative to inverse of sin 1 by 1 is 1 by substituting in sin square theta plus cosecant square theta we will get sin square theta 1 square 1 and cosecant square theta 1 square it is also 1 so 1 plus 1 2 so it is proved ok now these are list of some problems you can solve these also too these are somewhat easy you can try these your logical thinking and mathematical thinking will increase ok pause the video and write down all these questions and try to solve these if you solve minimum 15 of these questions it means that you are in an intermediate stage and you may become advanced stage too ok guys this is for today's video if you like the video hit that like button smash the subscribe button and ring that bell icon it notifies you when i release a vi new video if you have any doubts comment down below i will answer them in the next video ok bye see you later write down these questions and answer them